Hello everybody and welcome to more Cult of the Lamb. We are jumping in again. I did play a little tiny bit off camera and just do some more housekeeping. I basically did two things. I cleared out all the big stones and I also um, named our named our cult. We are Cult of the Turtles now and you will see why in the coming episode. I've now got a list of all of y'all names in the side here so that I can name every single one of you occultist as they join. But here we are. We're joining in and we can receive a bunch more of this. We've actually just unlocked another um, upgrade here so we can see what we want. Farm plot might be good, but honestly, we've been getting food pretty reliably so far. But I think we need to unlock all of these. In fact, uh, yeah, I suppose we don't really need a body pit right now. So let's go with the, um, the farm plot. And we'll perform another sermon before we leave as well. And then here we get the farming bundle. Interesting. Okay, cool. So now we can come over here and... Uh, build ourselves one of those if we'd like so okay we can see that here so okay so farming plots kind of like literally just a small little plot so we can only make two of those so far do we have to go and craft them as well we do okay so we'll, we'll end up making this corner into the farming area i think that makes sense because it's kind of near where we where we um craft our food cook our food should i say rather than craft but let's jump in here and we'll perform another sermon and see if we can increase that faith a little bit here perform a sermon drawing energy from your followers let's go come in my loyal subjects huzzah still only three this time around but that should i'm gonna say increase their faith a little bit i like it good good and we're gonna go out and um Go on another adventure and see what we can find. Return to the land of the old faith. Find commandment stone fragments. Let's go. Let's do it. See what we can get. I'm excited to jump in. So we still only have one gate open and available to us. We're going to need probably a lot more follow-ups so we can get any more. But let's jump on in. But yeah, the, the original three um, guys that we have, I'll leave them as they are. They can be our uh, like OG subjects. Ooh, new weapon. Um, extra damage, less speed. Oh, that is a lot of a lot less speed, but I'm hoping the uh, the damage outweighs it. Entering the land of the Bishop Leshy, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. My God, I think I can handle it. Whoa, what is this room? This is something new. I'm glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes you to grant a crown ability. Oh, nice. Whoa. And then that charges up. Ah, and then we can, like, pick up the blood spores. Enemy Hill Slayer will drop favor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Favor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non believers and works like ammunition for your curses. Favor will drop when you slay enemies. Collect it to refuel your curses. That's really cool. Awesome. Okay. So we've got some additional abilities now. Oh, what the hell? There was another enemy in there? Oh, I think he fired a projectile at me. My bad. My bad. Take this way first. Hey, we got our card reader again. Let's draw a card. See what we get. Does it cost to draw cards? Damage uh, deal, deals poison to struck enemies. Let's go with uh, the poison. That seems like a good idea. Fates have spoken. Okay, let's go. Okay, having a ranged attack seems like it's going to be really, really strong. That does quite a lot of damage as well. Especially considering right now our axe is so slow. Beautiful. Some more berries as well. Love it. Continue forward. Get ourselves one of these strange little curse chests. Ooh, decorative little flowers. Nice. I love the, the fact that you can do all this extra stuff. That's so cute. Right, let's make our way back. There's going to be a little bit of backtracking in this game by the looks of it, but honestly, the rooms are so short, and the roll gives you so much speed that I don't particularly mind. There was... Oh, no. Was there not one other room? Okay, no, maybe there wasn't. My flock is ready for another sermon. I'm sure to, I'll be sure to do that when I get back then. Do not worry. Okay, let's go ahead to the next area. Definitely want to grab a follower here. Excuse me. 
the worm, it is hungry, it feeds, it partakes uh, of our flesh, but the, that is a price for safety, for that we gladly give it all we have. That's so cool. So I think I want to be using that whatever I can, really. Because I don't, like, the, the ammo for it is pretty sparse. Poison will just kill you anyways. Yeah, this axe is great. I wonder if I can pick which weapons I use later on, because I really like this axe. I could definitely stick with this. I really like heavy hitting weapons. Hello. Would you like to return to our wonderful cult? I'm sure you would. There you go. Follow awaits indoctrination. Good, good. Um, and then, yeah, I guess we just go for this. So I don't know what this one is. This is a new symbol on the map here. Steel Diversion. Ah, interesting. Can I destroy this? Yes, I can. Give me a lot more power. Oh, and it rebuilds. Interesting. That's really cool. Right, it's coming through. Oh, he dodged that. Well done. Ooh, those enemies are kind of easy to dodge. They jumped right over my head. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be destroying, like, all these burn piles and stuff. I don't know how much I'm going to be getting out of that sort of stuff. Like, obviously, they aren't get anything. So, is it going to be reliable? Oh, here we've got something new. Harrow. Eons ago, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pa uh, pantheon? At last, tis is the nature of the beast to forget and the gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devour, uh, devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spared root, uh, spread root, spun webs, molded this world um, to meet them and theirs. Twere a land of many gods, once hundreds, now. Oh, so I think I'm taking all of these, aren't I? Okay, nice. You got one. Nice. You have found enough fragments to follow a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult. Uh, use the alt, uh, altar in your temple to declare a new doctrine when, when you find a new stone. Nice one. I will certainly do that. Another card. Let's go with the 10% chance of getting a soul heart. I like the idea of that. Because I just noticed the poison kind of knocked that guy back as well. So poison isn't going to kill, unfortunately. It's like one tick off of killing. That's so powerful. I love this axe. I really hope you get to pick which weapon you use. Because I will stick with this axe, definitely. I'm really liking it. The poison definitely kills these guys. Oh, hello. I was not expecting you here. So you foolishly per uh, persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what uh, an unworthy bearer it has. Get out of here. I just tracked that leshy quest. So far, I like the game feeling pretty good, like combat wise, it's really fun. It doesn't seem too difficult yet, but I'm sure it'll get there. That also does help that I have a lot of experience in roguelikes, and I've also been playing Elden Ring a lot recently, which has similar controls, so I'm really used to the dodging mechanics in this game. Ooh, what is this? Flame Shot 2. Shoot a piercing bolt of fire. Uh, hold and release uh, at the mark to make it explosive. Oh, that's just an upgrade, so I can recycle that now. Interesting. Do I get? Do I keep those upgrades? Or is that is that pair run? I wonder. Well, it says that I can hold and release it for extra power. Get out of here. Steal some diversion from that bad boy. Okay, so I almost made it explosive then, but not quite.
I think I gotta release like right on that line to make it explosive. Okay, this room is slightly, slightly more chaotic than we're used to. But we're nothing we can't handle. Okay, I did unfortunately walk right in front of that guy. Okay, let's make sure we pick up all of our, our juice. Nice. Beautiful. We got it. We're good to go. Those guys don't quite die to poison, but all the little worms do. It's very satisfying, I'll tell you that. Okay, so what's this? Oh, this is the boss. Okay, so it's basically just a big one of these guys. I think I can handle that. Okay, we've actually got a real boss now. This looks like a real boss attack. Multiple attack phases, lots of bullets. I like it. I like it a lot. So it seems like two jumps and then a strike. Okay, another jump. Oh, no, no, no. No two jumps this time. Oh, new attack. It did that one a little, little bit different than normal. So on bosses, you get some of your power back with each hit rather than each kill. I really like the poison. The poison's super helpful. Okay, so basically, as I get it lower in HP, it jumps more and more. And more sporadically. We're gonna be careful of that. There we go, we got you there. And we got another follower as well. I like the fact that each boss turns into one. That's really cool. I convert ye. Uh, I think we'll take food this time. Throw a little low on food, I think bunch of that there and then we can so i think we can leave or we can go back this way i do want to go back this way real quick because we had another room down here that i didn't check out just because we don't we don't know what's going on at the minute i want to make sure we explore everywhere we got another card attack rate increase definitely with this thing oh no one of our followers is starving i didn't realize they could like starve while we were away but apparently so so we have to be quick to make our way back i guess Return to our cult. You gotta look after him. Heretics defeated. Good stuff. Two new followers as well. I like that. Oh, we've uh, we've entered the place with this guy. The one who waits. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I'll be watching your, your every move. Do not disappoint me. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but... Definitely welcome. Cult of the Turtles. Hell yes. Okay, so first things first, we gotta make some food here, because people are people are starving. Let's just cook it all up. Hey friend. I'll be with you in a second. Great leader. When times are tough we can cook grass meals. Followers won't like it, but it beats starving. Try it now. Except, why not? My faith is getting real low here. Holy hell. Um, wait, I'm sorry, but I need you to eat. I apologize. I need you to go eat. Okay, while you guys eat, I'm trying to quickly dig this up. I'm sorry you're so mad, but my faith is getting real low here. Let's perform another sermon here before we bring in our new followers. Come on, guys. I realize you're not too happy right now. This is the best I can do. Curse of the Hordes, Bane Weapons. Bane Weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies with attacks. Um, 
But a new cast will appear. Why not? Go with some new curses. Interesting, okay. Okay, that increased faith a good amount. And also go with crown as well. Um, select from the category to make a choice that will unlock either a new ritual. Okay, let's go with that for now. That looks really cool. Bonfire ritual. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's flame. The faith, sorry. Awesome. We, we, we very much do want to do that. <laughs> um, we need 25 burns by the looks of that, and we have none currently. So we'll have to be look, looking out for that whenever we can. So rituals here is... Okay, that's, that's these... Can't make you yet, unfortunately. Can I perform another sermon? Okay, no, I can't. I didn't think so. Right, so faith is a little... Not great right now. <laughs> Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your follower will keep their faith high. The burns of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their burns. There you go. Return to land's old faith, gather burns from fallen enemies, recruit more followers, and return to perform rituals. Here you have... Perform rituals in the temple. These are uh, usually raise faith or help solve problems in the cult. Um, need burns. After slaying non-believers, desecrate their body to gather their burns and use them to perform dark rituals at your temple. Nice, okay. So we now have to do that now. So, for, for one, let's just go and collect all of that. Very nice. And then we can go and upgrade once more. I guess we just go with this. Farmer station allows followers to walk nearby crops. Put seeds here for followers to sow. Okay, great. Now we've unlocked that. Upgrade temple and shrine. Collect more diversion and allow more followers to pray. Nice. Okay. But right now we've got some decorations. And we got a farmer's station. And a seed silo. So we definitely want a farmer's station. We can put that... Like, here. And then the seed silo as well, we can just drop, like, here. People need to wake up. We've got things to do. I need to indoctrinate my new people as well. There you go, day five. Good, good. There's not enough beds for all your followers. Damn, we lost 20 faith for that. Holy. This is difficult. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be so tough. I mean, I am, I am playing on hard. Am I going to get this finished before the faith runs out? It's running out very, very quickly. <laughs> okay. Let me come back over this way. Let's do another sermon. These people are really not happy. In fact, one minute, one minute, one minute. Let me bring in my new members first and then perform, perform a sermon. To doctrine the new fella. I will indeed. So this person is going to be named Willow. There you go. Willow. And then for form, Hazar. We are going with the turtles. Hell yes. You can be the good old green turtle. And we can choose a variant. You can be the cutesy little one. And you have heal faster uh, and lose faith when falling ill. Except, Hazar, one for the turtle cult. <laughs> um, help with construction. Go, go with that. Why not? And then hello. This one is going to be Lily Hutchinson. If I can fit that. Okay, it's going to be Lily Hutch instead, because that the rest won't fit. And then, of course, for form, we're going turtle. <laughs> you can be a different colour. And you can be the big-headed variant, why not? You've got all positives. On recruits, follow immediate gains, 10 faith, level up, and bed rest. Nice. 
Awesome. One more turtle to join the crew. You can worship as well. Why not? And then let's go perform a sermon. I think having more followers and performing a sermon will be better off for us. Let's see, shall we? Come, my turtle people. Huzzah. Okay, nice. That that put us in a good that put us in a good spot. Right, head back out. We need to make some some more beds. That's clearly something we need. Um, we don't actually have enough money to make many beds right now. I made all this stuff and didn't really think about that. Whoopsie! I'm gonna have to go out and uh, get some more money so I can make some more beds before nightfall. Come over here, little turtle fella. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be a little turtle. Yeah, by the way, I've not, I'm not doing people in any particular order. I've got a list of about 20 of you on the side of my screen here, so I'm just putting them up in the order that I, that I wrote them down in. So everyone will get their chance, do not worry. And I'll, I'll leave your name as well if you haven't yet. I'll try and add that to the list. Nice. Okay. Right, let's head our way out again, I think. Um, making me grassy gruel. Have we, do we have the ability to make grassy gruel yet? We do, yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all then. Whoopsie. I kind of forgot there was that mini game and just burnt the hell out of it. And then, are you going to eat that anyways? You are good. Okay, that's another quest. Another quest done. Once he's finished eating it, at least. Huzzah! There you go. You honor me great leader, I'm eternally grateful. Huzzah! A bunch of extra faith there as well. Okay. Let's head out again. We need to collect bones. And we need to collect quite a lot of money to create some beds and other things as well. We've got a lot going on that we need to create. <laughs> Ooh, this time we get to choose different weapons. So we get the Traitor's Razor. A fast blade designed for many cuts. Low damage, but lightning quick. And point of, um, of corruption. Hold to aim. Aim a pro explosive projectile. I'm gonna try the the. Oh, we get both. I wasn't expecting to get both. I'll be honest. Ooh, that's quite literally like a, a mortar that we can fire. Okay, that thing is quick. And there's some burns. Okay. Nice. We can pick up some grass while we're here as well. I'm not gonna get grass every single time, but we can get some. Okay, definitely not as big of a fan of this um, this weapon as my other. Just because my other was way more reliable at uh, like dealing high damage. But this one's still pretty good. The knockback on this seems to be slightly problematic. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting hit a lot. This guy's a problem. I don't like this dude. <laughs> get out of here. Right, hopefully we get some healing. Okay, so the body's auto destroyed by the looks of things. 10% uh, chance of getting uh, a soul heart. I think we definitely need that right now. Hello? It's you again. It's all of you. Uh, hello. So it's true, the red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to... It matters not. We need to uh, bother... Sham... 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 With this? <laughs> I can't read that. Deal with it, brother. As you command my sister. Get out of here. Yeah, this weapon's decent, but nowhere near as good as the other one. I'm way more used to um, 
long attacks. I might actually die this run just because I'm having a really hard time using this weapon. Because I have to like stay in the enemy's face for so much longer to deal damage. That helps. Get out of here, little bat thing. It's a, it's a good job they don't deal contact damage. The enemies, if they did, I'd have a real hard time. Kind of don't need to dodge these guys. You just kind of walk under them. This is a really long room. Yeah, we got it, finally. That was a tough room, though. Holy. We did get half the soul heart there as well. Don't know why I just stood there. I thought that was a... Didn't think that was an enemy for a minute there. Followers will never sleep. Interesting. Is that a good thing? I wonder if I can give that to just one or multiple. Sounds like I can only give that to one. Random tarot card here. Curses consume 25% less favor. Nice. That's really good. And then here... I don't know what this is, so I'm going to go for it. It seems new. Oh, this is a shop by the looks of things. Give me some berries. <laughs> this is pretty cute. Let me go over to the cauldron here. There's all little bugs eating. That's so cute. Nice. We should really look at our path that we're taking a little more rigorously. Didn't mean to do that if you can't already tell. Okay, that, that thing in the middle is doing different attacks. Okay, things have definitely heated up. We've definitely entered the, the hard mode part of the game now. I like it though. Got some real challenge to it. I know that that thing there's a trap, so I'm trying to be careful. Hey, we got a heart there as well. Lovely. Wasn't expecting to get any hearts, but I will definitely take them when they come along to us. Kind of lead these guys over the poison, can't we? Some more berries, some more burns. We're getting a lot of burns here. Damn it, that didn't quite reach. I thought that would just about reach them, but it doesn't. Berries. This is awesome. I'm loving this game. Got another tarot card. When hit down to half a heart, enemies will take damage. Nice. Yeah, let's just go back and check the rooms we haven't seen. We've still got our card bearer woman. Which is probably right here. Oh, this is a different one. Okay, so this is where we can get weapons and stuff. Step forward, beast, from the swirling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you holy. Hmm. Your carry way of the age of centuries upon such diminutive souled shoulders. What the hell? Yeah, what is this? It seems your uh, stature is deceiving. The weapon is not without the hand that it wields to fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in the everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. I'm definitely going to take this. I think this axe is amazing. <laughs> Bye. This axe is, is my shit. I like big hits. Right. For the next area. This time we take stone. So no followers this time, apart from the one from the boss by the looks of things.
It kind of reminds me of the way that Darkest Dungeon 2 kind of plays out a little bit. With the resources and the gathering followers and all that sort of stuff. Very, it's very reminiscent. I don't know, do you guys feel the same? Any of you that have seen Dark Assumption 2, that is. See, that's beautiful. Being able to two-hit that enemy. Lovely. One-hit that guy. I didn't realise we got slow-mo while we were firing that. Interesting. Shoot a piercing fireball, hold and release uh, the mark to make it explosive. Shoot multiple projectiles that seek out. Ooh, yeah. That sounds awesome. There's going to be a lot of changing over of abilities. I didn't expect that. But I like it. Oh, that's really cool. That's going to be really good on the boss, I think. Thank you for some more money. Should grab some more grass while we're here. If we can, that is. There seems to be any. Damn. Just look at that. Two hits. Dead. We're up to full health already. It's probably the boss room, won't it? Yeah. Ooh, it's one of these. Okay, that didn't really work. That did. Okay, so we basically just don't want to be near him while he's trying to attack, because he's going to do some close-range charge of attacks. I was about to say, I don't imagine he has too much long range, but I'm sure I'll have at least one. Okay, that attack we can kind of stay close for. And that one we stay away for. We can get another attack in before he goes down as well, actually. We can get three in and then one after. That's pretty good combo. Didn't quite get three in that time. Ooh, that was a bit of a bad hit there. I said a little too, bit too close for comfort. Just take it slow. We don't need to rush. There we go. We got him. Hello. Away you go. We can take a small gift, golden nuggets. Let's take a small gift, see what that is. Was that just one coin? That small gift? I think it was just one coin. Beautiful. Okay. And away we go, back to the cult. So runs of themselves are actually pretty darn fast. Beautiful. Right, so we can do a few different things here. Oh, we're back to you again. Hello. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your your followers. They are for you to use uh, to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. For you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Interact with your followers to read their thoughts. Um... As well as see hunger, tiredness, and how sick they are. Nice. Okay. That's good. Nice. Interact with the follower. Yes. Okay. Cool. So we can actually get some more specifics about each follower here. I like that. Back again. Clean this burn food real quick. Just do some general housekeeping real quick here. People like to poop in this corner, so. <laughs> Try to clean up a little bit. Right, good, good. Hey, fella. And this will be just Seraph. There you go. You will also be a turtle. <laughs> You'll be this color. You can go with a regular variant and gain faith when building uh, better sleeping quarters, lose 10 faith and falling ill. Sounds good. Huzzah! You are one of us now. Tend to the farms. 
grab all of this. And then we can collect more of this. So now we can go, we can get a, a body pit if we need, we don't need that right now. Upgrade temple and try and collect more. Nice. Okay, so we'll definitely do that. Huzzah. And everything here is unlocked. Beautiful. Our shrine levels up. It becomes a new. Huzzah. Ooh, that looks really cool. Cult upgraded. Huzzah. Okay. Let's step in here. First of all, let's run a sermon if we can. Indeed, we can. Get our faith going a little bit. Suck some power from these saps. Huzzah. Um, increase the st uh, starting level of weapons when you begin a new crusade. Okay, that sounds really good. I like the idea of that. Nice one. And while we're here, so our faith goes up quite a lot. While we're here, we can perform a ritual now. So we can dance around the fire, but we don't actually need to do that right now. Our faith is looking really good, so we'll leave that for now. We'll uh, feed some of these fellas as well. We, we lose faith for feeding them that, so we've got to be careful. Um... 7% chance of increasing follower loyalty. We don't have many of the ingredients for those, so we won't make too, too many of them. Boom. 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 And boom. All of y'all eat. Okay, so... We need to water these, apparently. Right, let's come back over here. First things first, let's craft some more beds. Apparently some of these beds have been destroyed or something? What's going on with these beds? Okay, we just got to repair them, I see. I didn't realize we had to keep buildings in check, but it's good to know that we do. Okay. So hopefully we can build a sleeping quarter soon. We won't need to use these crappy little beds. But for now, these will do. I don't really need to assign them, I don't think. I think I just, like, I think they just use them. Faith is looking really good here. Let's go out on one more adventure before we finish off today's episode, shall we? Oh, I need to perform a, I need to perform a ritual, I see. It's required of me, even though our faith is full. Huzzah. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Huzzah. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to these upgrades. They seem really interesting. Indoctrination followers is all uh, is well and good, but there is so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and perform blessings uh, for them, and you will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are totally loyal, they will give you everything they earn. Watch as I show you. Follower, uh, come back in here. It's our first follower. Increase your followers' loyalty to level them up, and they will reward you with devotion and commandment stone fragments. Nice. Each time a follower levels up, they'll generate additional diversion when at a sermon or worshipping at the shrine, um, so be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, and perform sermons and many other actions. The more loyal followers, the more stronger you'll become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Haha, ha, okay. A lonely shack, we're gonna make our way over there. Sounds good. Okay. Is that a teleport to his house, maybe? Let's track that quest. We got a lot of quests on our uh, thingy here. A 
quite a lot of quests going on. Interact with any follower to perform a blessing. Okay. First of all, I'll read their mind. <laughs> Build an outhouse so I can poop in peace. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We can read like read their thoughts like that. Interact with any follower and perform a blessing. How do I do that then? Give blessing. There you go. Beautiful. And then can I give you a gift as well? Oh, there you go. You don't need to sleep anymore. Huzzah! Hey, we got another fragment. And we can receive that and get another upgrade there. Awesome. Okay, so. Let's have a little look, see what we got going on here. So, we got shelter. A more stable shelter, which uh, will collapse less often. And over here, we've got stone mine, missionary, lumber yard. We've also got scarecrow. We've got offering statue. A statue where followers can leave offerings in your honor. And hold naughty followers. Okay, let's go with the shelter first, shall we? That seems like pretty necessary. Good, good. We can come over here and build some shelter. So we still need coins for that. That's fine. Can you not sleep right now? No, you can. You're just choosing not to for some reason. Oh, you don't need to sleep. Oh, I just gave you that thing, didn't I? Okay. Um, so... We could wait for everyone to wake up. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Travel to his house. Okay, so this is how we unlock new areas, I think. Hey, acquired follower form. Nice. I won't need that because I'll only be needing turtle follower forms from now on, but I'll accept it. I'm going to pick your berry bushes as well, sir. I must thank you by relieving me of my duties. You have granted me what I desire most, peace. Now that I have taught you everything you need to know, I can pass my days playing knuckle bones. I have friends on the way to join me for a game or two as we speak. A rowdy bunch to be sure, but now that uh, now I am retired, I am free to enjoy myself. Sorry to harvest your things, but I want them. Give me all that. Can we pop in his house and see what's what? You have discovered my humble cottage. Be careful you don't make the same mistakes I did or you'll end up in this pla a place just like this. Now perhaps a game of knuckle burns? You don't know it? Why, it's simple. Set up the table and I'll show you. First of all, I want this gift. Nice. Okay, let's give it knuckle burns a go. A dice game of risk and reward. Interesting. When dice of the same number are placed in the same column, multiply their value. Destroy your opponent's dice by matching yours to theirs. I'm going to be terrible at this, aren't I? If I get a six, I'm going to put a six there. He gets another two. I get another six. Ho ho! So, for some reason, he didn't decide to destroy my dice there. So, now I need to match eight on either of these columns. Hmm. Okay, nice. I see. So, I matched one of their dice there. He got three twos. I got three threes. Huzzah! <laughs> this is kind of a fun little game. Okay, he's on 24 there. I guess this row is a bit screwed, really, isn't it? 28 to 3. No! Okay, okay, that's bad. That's really bad. But then I destroyed one of his. That's cool, that's cool. He gets double threes, though. But I destroy both of your threes. Huzzah! So could I? 
Okay, so once, once over is full, I'm kind of screwed, right? I was... Okay, I did win, though. That was, that was really fun. That's an interesting little game. Seems like there's a lot of strategy involved. By the one below, you are a natural. Here, you've earned yourself a prize. We got ourselves another tarot card. Gain an extra heart. Awesome. So we can unlock a tarot card as we go through. I thought they were just the ones that we haven't discovered. But that sounds good. Awesome. Now you've had a taste of the game. Care to wager some coin? Ooh. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to I'm gonna head off for now. But I'll come back to you. Day seven. The flock is ready for another sermon. How do I get back? Okay, there you go. Right, let's perform another sermon, and then we'll be on our way, I think. Right. Let's go. Give me all you have. Beautiful. And then we can upgrade our crown as well, apparently. This time we've actually got a little more specificity to do. Ooh. Wait, what? I'm confused. What have I done here? Teach them the true meaning of obedience. Have them proper birth, labor, and love. Reassure them that death is not the end. Instruct them on the, uh, okay. Punish sin uh, or celebrate virtue. Unlocks the murder follower action. A simple solution to many problems, but some followers may find this upsetting. Um, perform a ritual at your temple in which you can ascend a follower's spirit to a higher plane. Sounds good to me. I wasn't really sure what I was doing there. I clicked on something and I wasn't quite ready for it, but it happened. Okay, so we can check our doctrines now. Interesting. So we don't really need law and order there, I'll be honest. <laughs> Quite obviously, but... What I meant to do is, I meant to just click on this to read it. I thought these were, like, what I'd be clicking on. Turns out it wasn't. <laughs> oh well. Anyways. I think that's a good place to end off this episode. We're looking really good now. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.